Today, I want to focus in and talk to us a little bit about the new creation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And I like to read the first part of the next verse, verse 18. Now, all things are of God. The Apostle Paul stated here, if anyone is in Christ. Now, we're going to emphasize various aspects of this new creation. I want to just begin here by emphasizing that word anyone. If anyone is in Christ. You know, the, the gospel is for whoever. The gospel is for everybody. And here the Apostle Paul is reminding us if anyone is in Christ, any person can come to be in Christ, regardless of what our current situation in life is, regardless of what our uh, life journey has been till this point, what our you know, uh, uh, achievements or successes or failures have been, whatever, whoever we are, any person can come into this wonderful life that is in Christ Jesus, and it's open for everybody. God is welcoming every person to come in and experience this life in Christ. So anyone can be born again, can receive Jesus into their lives, receive this new life from above. And at that moment of new birth, God himself brings us into Christ. He brings us into union with Christ. And uh, I'll just mention here, this verse says that because we are in Christ, Christ has been made to us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. As God brought us into Christ, the other thing I want to highlight was, is that the Holy Spirit baptized us into Christ. Your human spirit became a new creation, received new life from above, and was brought into Christ and spiritually you are one with Jesus. This new creation is new both in character, in quality, in a sense, and also it's new in time. And we were born again, we became new creatures, we became a new species, uh, a kind of being uh, that, that, that didn't exist before. Because everyone was born of Adam. When we were born of Adam, we had the old nature. But now we are born of Christ. This is a new species of people um, uh, who've got a new identity, who've got a new nature, and who've got a new way of living. And that's who we are as new creation in Christ. So this new man is not created according to Adam. It's not created according to the old man. This new man is in the image of God and has the capacity for righteousness and true holiness. So understand this new creation in you, this new man in you is in the image of God. It's a carrier of the life and the nature of God. And it is filled with the capacity for righteousness and holiness. The new person on the inside of you, the new creation that you became in your spirit is in the image of God. All things have passed away. All things have passed away. That means everything of the old man is gone. The old things have no right over you. You see, the devil wants to uh, convince you that things of the old life still have to linger on in the new especially in the area of the, of the flesh and the soul. But the Bible is saying, all things have passed away. So in your spirit, you become a new creation. And God says, everything of the old is gone. And then he goes on in that same verse. He says, all things are new. All things are new. And then he says in verse 18, the first part which we just read, all things are of God. So all things are new and everything new is really from God. So all of God, the things that have come from God is what makes this a new creation. All things are new and all things are from God. And lastly, I just want to emphasize that there is a growing into the full measure of the new creation. Our human spirit has to grow. We have to develop the full functions of the human spirit, receive knowledge 
about this new creation, embrace what God has said about us, get rid of the, uh, you know, don't accept anything of the old. They have no place here. All things are new and we have to grow into it and we will see uh, the purpose of God in bringing us into Christ uh, fulfilled.